Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the inlet water valve on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we'll need is a quarter inch nut driver and a utility knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to access the back of the refrigerator. So we're going to pull it forward and disconnect the power. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, our next step will be to turn off the inlet water supply and disconnect the inlet to the valve. Now once we've done that, we'll need to loosen the back cover. Then we'll remove the two screws that secure the mounting bracket for that water valve. And pull the valve out. You can disconnect the wire harness connector. And we'll also disconnect the outlet from the valve. If yours is the quick connect style like this, you simply depress that collar and pull the tubing out. If yours is a compression style, simply unthread it and discard the old fitting. We'll then unclip that water line from the valve. And we should also recut the end of that tubing so that we have a nice tight fit in our valve. So using a sharp utility knife, take off about a quarter of an inch of that tubing. Make sure you cut nice and straight so we have a good square cut with no burrs. We'll discard the old valve. Our new valve is a quick connect style, so we simply press that tubing all the way into the valve and then pull out on it and it'll lock it in place. You can clip it into the clip on the side of that valve. We'll reconnect the wire harness. And reattach the mounting screws to the side of the cabinet. And tighten those both securely. Then we'll reattach the clamp that secures the cord and the back panel. And then remove the protective cover to the inlet to the valve. We'll reconnect our inlet water supply and turn it on to check for leaks. Once we verify that we have no leaks, we can push the refrigerator back into place. With the refrigerator back in place, we're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. 